We are off to go and get Francis' car today. Very excited. Yeah. This whole vlog is not gonna be about our sleep, but freaking hell, that boy. He kept us up all night and now look at him. If you're wondering what the hell is going on with Stuart's outfit today, just got back from the gym, my darlings. You should be proud of me. <laughs> Let's get Rebel in the car. I apologize if I do need to start that vlog again because I was holding Rebel and not my fully myself. Okay. Hi everybody and welcome back to another day in the life of Stuart and Francis. We are having the best day of the day. I basically Francis woke up a little bit low energy because he didn't have much sleep. No, but, and, but that's what happened last week. I feel like you keep recording these videos hey, the this, day the, the this day This is after. real life, come I on. Know. I know, this I'm not- parenting, I mean? I'm not moaning, but yesterday I had lots, much more energy than You had a lot more energy. Morning. So basically, we've just, Got a spring in our step because we're going to we're going to pick up our new car. But we had a bit of a difficult night with Rio. He was just crying a lot, and then I made you do it do a night feed with Rebel, and then he couldn't get back to sleep. Never can. But also, what happens is I was so excited for life yeah. yesterday because we had such a good day yesterday. Yeah. I just was like buzzing with loads of ideas. So we've got so much to chat to you about. It's so exciting, but I don't, I don't know what we want to say now. Because let's just focus on getting your car. Let's focus on getting the car. So let's talk about all the reasons why you need this new car. So I need this new car because we need, we live on a main road, we're just leaving a house now. If one of us goes out with a car and it's important that we conquer and separate and go do our things. Whoever's left with the kids is left with no car. I love getting out, especially with the kids. Like it makes the time go quicker. They have more fun. We all have more fun. We go to the forest forever, but we've just been limited by that. So we need a second car for that. This car that we're driving right now is a beast. It's sexy, it's everything. It ticks all the boxes. It's not great for the car seats. It's not great on fuel. It's not great for space, leg room and stuff like that. You're excited. We've gone for the GLB because this car was great for space, great for our budget. I am very excited about the interior, the lights in the car. Yeah. Because they look so cool and I can't wait to show you all around. Yeah. And what I think we're also excited about is as soon as that we've got this car is cleaning out Stuart's car, yes. make sure it's pristine, and keeping it as the cool we car. See if I can undo the dents that you've created. Oh, not dents, I haven't done any dents. Stuart does this thing, if there's any mark anywhere on anything, he always blames me, always. Show and it's more your, likely me. <laughs> I put on a bit of makeup this morning and I got on my t-shirt. <laughs> I literally is, was like- This is why I blame you. So literally I was like, this morning I was like, Oh God, I feel a bit tired. I'm going to pick up the car. I want to look my best. She just put this lovely tinted moisturizer. Let me put this it's on. Why it's from YSL and it's, it's from, so nice. It's really nice. I put it on and then I obviously put it on my t-shirt too. And then he came in and was like, are you wearing makeup? <laughs> I knew it was a bit too it strong. It was like really, it looked like he was back in the Victorian days. <laughs> yeah, he's got like the, the on my foundation. foundation <laughs> So I didn't go for the foundation. I, I gave it a wipe up. There might be a hint, but I wiped it off. <laughs> but I love wearing that foundation too. It just gives you a bit of colour. Yeah, you? I know, but it's better on a night out when the lights are a little lower. <laughs> or when you're doing like a shoot or something. It's not really appropriate for the day to day. I know, but I love, I just love. What I've learned in this era of my life, this the latter era of my 30s, is that just do what you want to do. Yeah. And I love that seeing all those boys yesterday went to see a musical theatre show. All those boys yesterday in full on wedding dresses. I'm like, you can be whoever you want to be. Yeah. If you so, want to wear makeup and an eyeshadow, go for it, Francis. Yeah. So, anyway, let's go pick up the car. Woohoo! <laughs> This is so exciting! A new car! This is so exciting! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Rio! Oh my god, this is like extra! Oh wow! It's a police car! Do you love it? What do you say? Say thank you? You say thank you? Teddy bear! Oh my god, I love the boat. Do you want to Should do the reveal? Rio, underneath here is going to be a car. Pull it, Rio, pull it. Wow. <laughs> You're in your new car. So fun. Daddy's new car. Daddy's new car. I love the new dash. 
how it's all very new. Yeah. At the leg room here. It's amazing. That is what sold it for us. Sold actually. it for us. Trying to get over a car seat. It's so good. And then I'll show you the boot space. Boot space. If needed, you can use <laughs> Which is perfect. perfect. Wow. Hello. 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 Laura's helped us. Been incredible. She is one. Do it I only like being served by hot people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, champagne, darling. This is for Rebel. <laughs> Yay! There she is. Still. Two hours later. Guys, you're gagging off on me. You want to come sit here and eat a big strawberry? I don't understand why you're suddenly okay. <laughs> Talk about where we left off. <laughs> we went to pick up the car. It was a great day. I'm loving the new car, by the way. It makes me so happy for so many different reasons. Basically, it's just so much easier to drive than Stuart's car. But anyway, we're not going to make this whole vlog about the car. Now, I'm cleaning our fridge. Hey! And it's actually that clip I just put in was what happened later in that day, and everything was a bit overwhelming. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I can't go anymore. So now it's Saturday, and I'm cleaning the fridge. Rio's having breakfast. Did you have some toast? I gave him some chocolate spread because it's a Saturday. Did you have toast and chocolate spread? You had chocolate spread. Show me on your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, did you like it? Stuart and Rebel are lying in. Rebel always has lies in. She wakes up at four though for a feed, so I suppose she deserves it. <laughs> what time? <laughs> She just sneezed like a massive great big ball of I bought tissues the other day for this reason. Quick! Oh no! Oh no! no. Quick, quick, quick! quick. Oh. What time do you two call this? It's a I lot of... all night with her. <laughs> I was so happy this morning though, because I actually got a full night's sleep. Yeah! <laughs> Her face! I'm so, I'm so scared! I'm so worried! <laughs> You're such a happy baby. Whoa. Whoa! We've got a fun, jam-packed day for you today and you're gonna absolutely love it. It's such a nice day, it's so sunny, and so we thought, right, let's take this advantage of this sunny, beautiful day. Let's get out. I was like, I, I wanna go to the park, but then I'm just so tired of getting muddy. Yeah. It's so boring. So I'm not gonna do that. Rio, where's Rebel gone? Where's Rebel gone? Rebel? She's gone. There you are! There you are! Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, close your eyes. And look, Rio. Where's your bubble? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a really rare moment where both kids are asleep. I feel like now that both kids are here, that's been such like a whole focus for the last two and a half years, I think, of like, okay, babies surrogates, pregnancies, all those kind of things. Because as soon as Rio was here, we had to think about number two straight away because of the egg donor situation like that. Obviously, it is still full on with the kids, but where we can start. But Rebel is so good. She is really good. Compared to Rio, it's Rio the one that makes us tired. If it was Rebel first, we would have been like, you came in, you said, oh, can you just put her to sleep? She's nearly, nearly sleeping. Mm -hmm. Put her in her bed, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Although we are due, with, we're going to start weaning her next week and we're gonna start also sleeping, her sleeping in her own room. Um, you'll think it's gonna be easy, however, Rebel has gotten really comfortable, I've gotten really comfortable with her sleeping in between us. Let's just keep it that way then. But I try putting her in her own bed and she's like, oh, I don't wanna be there, she I wants know. to be between us. Let's so. just do it, let's just, keep, let's just have sleep. I'll give it a go. I don't mind. When we used to put Rio in our bed, Rio used to literally wiggle and cry oh. and he didn't, he didn't like being in our no. bed. No. 
Whereas she loves it. So just she's like, I hear, my, hear two my two daddies live she my best life. She loves it. So let's just keep it that way. <laughs> it so is. next week's video, can you guess what it's going to be? Weaning. <laughs> the one thing I have. Weaning my baby. Well, the one thing I've really learned from being a parent and from this second time being a parent is that the first time, obviously, like I'm quite an ideal, per, ideal person. Like I like ideals. I don't realise they're ideals, but I like things when they run perfectly and stuff and I I followed all these different things and they really worked and I became really passionate about them but what I've come to realize is that it's so different for every child and I'm a bit more relaxed this time yeah and just when other parent when I see other parents going through stuff rather than thinking oh I know why they're going through it's because this and this and this I'm like honey it will all pass we'll look back at this time and be like oh my god yeah loved it <laughs> 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 just loved it I know someone I met up with my, the NTT mums the other day and they were like well done for getting out of the house I was like you're so right <laughs> <laughs> yeah I get scared of leaving the house when it's too, when it's too I haven't done that yet but what I was going to back to was Sorry. the fact was the, we're still in the busy era of kids but I do feel like we've got more space to reconnect with the things that we love the most yeah. and one of those things is musical theatre and we started singing more. If you follow us on TikTok or Instagram, we start singing more. We start dancing more. He really loves it. I, I got an eyelash or eyebrow here. Oh, oh my God. Did you do I could literally, as I was looking at you, I was like, I can see a hair on my eyelid. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with having eyebrows really close to your eyes. Well, we're having some days where we're not doing much. But sometimes I feel guilty about that, but sometimes I'm like, oh, whatever. Yeah, I don't feel guilty because... I feel like we've taken January was really busy and then we came back and then it was like a lot trying to get them back into the routine. Mm -hmm. So I think we're just going to stick to Europe this year. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel ready for another trip. Though. Need, I need, think um... potty training and weaning are the two next things. Get yeah. that done in this little time and yeah. then go. How to potty train your child <laughs> on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just go somewhere hot for that. Shall I? I'm happy to do that. Chatting over. Let's get cracking with our day. What are we going to do? Um, I'm going to walk Dolly. What are you going to do? I'm going to make a Halle Fresh for us. Okay. Are you hungry? Uh, always. Yeah. Ah! Give me a shoulder. It's Sunday morning. Good morning, my absolute angels. Been to the gym. Done a workout, feeling great, getting those biceps, just having myself a Mama. little shake. More, more! Mama. Sorry, more, more. Training season, Mama. copyright. <laughs> Guys, stop hugging me. We love you so much. So, so, we, so Stuart, we're, what's Mama. happening today? We're going to our best friend's daughter's birthday. So it's Minnie's birthday. She's six. Sit down and Kate, he says. <laughs> yeah, Kate. Cake. <laughs> Cake. Cake. So we've got the Alpha's lined up ready to go. We've got a, she's going ice skating and then Pizza Express. So we're going out with her both. That's a lot changing. But he's going to get wet, isn't he, on yeah. the ice skating? So. He's going to love it. Right, let's get them, I'll get them changed then. So we have Rio's ice skating outfit. Rio's Pizza Express outfit. Rebels all day outfit. All day outfit. And then if she poos herself. If she poos herself. A Pizza Express outfit. <laughs> Sorry to make you on First family trip out in the car. And I hope it's not going to be muddy because otherwise. Your choice of colouring is. I know, and whenever I put this on, I'm always like, oh, not great at having kids, but it just means I just have to like do less. What is your one thing that you miss about life before kids? So mine was to be able to go to the gym at any time, whenever. I walked past the gym yesterday, I was like, oh. It's brain stuff for me. It's like having to think five steps ahead of a toddler is exhausting and I just feel like I'd have to lay down afterwards if I'm, I'm there by myself. Like if we're out it's fine but when we are in the house and I'm trying to do something else as well like trying to get ready and trying to think five steps ahead of a toddler not to touch the shaver. He stood in the toilet and went to pick up the shaver and I was like oh why of all the things to pick up on this shelf why the sharpest thing? Of course. 
that's what I miss is just being able to, to not think and just but I don't miss like not doing anything because I feel no, like no, no. I feel like we've lived more with kids than oh we ever have done. I'm happier. I'm a better I'm a better person. I'm happier with kids than that. I don't think I've ever been here before, have you? Yes. Why was Alexandra Palace built? Designed to be North London's answer to the Crystal Palace, the Alexandra Palace was built as a public recreation space and entertainment venue in the 1870s. I can't believe Brick actually got proper ice skates. Brick has actually got proper ice skates. Have you had a nice time? So I don't really guys very well very much and you do most of that. I forget how easy this, this is. It's That's like, why I choose it. No wonder you're always saying you take Rio and I'm thinking I'm doing the easy job. She's so, she's so chilled. Oh, Rio, Rio. Get to the end of the day, and I'm like, What have I actually done today? <laughs> you ever get the in same? The, in the moment, though, it is like full on. I know, but I have to keep reminding myself I've got two kids one's five months, five and a half months, one's two. They're both at home. This time it goes by so fast. You've seen how fast Rio grows up. I don't want to be regretting, think, feeling like, Oh, I wish I was just spent more time with them and just been. It's such a, such a pivotal moment in, in both of their lives. Yes, we might not be as productive as maybe we have been in the past, but we can be productive. We still want to be productive. I look back at photos of Rio just from last year and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe that's like, he, how aware he's, yeah. where he is already. I it's forgot crazy. that he was like that. Really, we've got two more years, I think, until Rio goes to school. Then it's a different chapter then. Okay, can we work harder? Yes. Should we do more tomorrow? Yes. But today, you know, just be grateful that we coexisted. <laughs> Very happily. If I'm so happy. I couldn't be happy with you. Are you sure? I'm just so lucky to have you as a husband. Yeah. I feel that. So lucky. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I have these thoughts, like obviously, and remind myself that we're two men and we're gay. And you know, often the outside world perceives that as being different. It's so hard to explain, but when you're in it and you're in a relationship that feels so right. Like today I was like hugging you and like hugging you so much, like so much love going through my body. And then Rio was like, oh, cuddle, cuddle. And then we had a three-way cuddle. It was really nice. I just thought to myself, like, hope he, not a hope, I know he ex is experiencing, like, true love through us. And I think that's so special. And regardless of what anyone else thinks about two men being in a relationship, that is that feeling and that connection and that con commitment, regardless of who you are, is, is, is the most important thing. Or speech. Fantastic. Yeah. It's on my mind. Our relationship feels so right to me. And that's why I suppose I love being gay because what I feel feels so right. Does that make sense? Yeah. I love being gay because I love kissing you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at the end of the day, we just all want to be happy. I am so happy. And what I was thinking is like I have, my whole life I've been like fight, 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 dig, dig, dig deeper and work harder. And I just feel like in this moment, I'm just like, wow, I'm so blessed. Like my heart on a constant is like having like palpitations, like seeing Rio today with all of those kids at the table and like joining in with all these four and five year olds, yeah. like so confidently didn't even think about it. it was at the table 
and like Margot and Minnie just absolutely loving on him and him feeling just so part of the group that he didn't even think about us. Just loved it. It was just so, it made me so happy. And I just want to just savor these moments. And I'm going to bed. All right, night. Good night. What about you? Are you going to bed? Yeah, yeah I'm going to go to bed. But I just feel like a bit more like, I'll do a bit more scrolling. Okay, scroll. Bye. Bye. <laughs>